Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and friends. And tonight we're having, you got it, one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. We have got Frey Bentus All Day Breakfast Pie. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's not disappointing because you guys know what I've done. I think I've done nearly every single Frey Bentus pie that they've done so far. And I found about this uh, the other day and I thought today, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it and I'm going to do it. And you would not believe the rigmarole I had to get this. Asda, no. Tesco's, no. Iceland, no. Fucking on bargains. On bargains, I found it. I should have just got that first. If I want anything that obscure in a tin like that in future, I'm just going to go to on bargains. Because I saved myself about two hours this morning to find a pie that will cost £1.49 that has now actually cost me about a tenner in fuel. <laughs> Uh, I would have said time as well, but my time's worth fuck all at the minute. Right, so it is the Frey Bentus All Day Breakfast. I like that bit at the bottom. Imp important, remove lid before baking. Ah, ah, ah. Unless you want a fucking explosion. In fact, should we just stick it in the microwave? Right, so we've got oatmeal, barley, barley, wheat, milk. That's your ingredients. And it's Cumberland sausage, 5%, bacon, 5%, black pudding, and beans in a tomato sauce topped with pastry. No egg. Hmm. How can you have a breakfast, however you describe it, whether it's uh, an all day breakfast, a brunch, a full English breakfast, any breakfast anywhere in the world, right? You describe, oh, it's breakfast. It has some sort of fucking egg in it. But the all day breakfast Frey Bentos does have no egg. There's uh, it. No, no egg. Disappointing. I'm disappointed already. But then again, at the price of £1.49, I'm not, I'm not going to be that disappointed, I think. What's £1.49? It's not even half a fucking pint of beer nowadays, is it? It's fucking shit. Uh, why not try our steak and gravy pie? I've done it, I'm sure they have. <clears throat> Remove lid using a robust can opener. I've got that. I've also got that one. That Phil sent me. It's not quite powerful enough to open a Frey Bentos. He, all, I also, he also sent me a, an electric one. And I still haven't used it yet. Don't know why I don't open that many tins. Uh, there's nothing more I can say about this. I'm not going to go through that. Oh, yeah. By the way, with my dietary requirements at the minute, right? I shouldn't be eating this. But this is my fucking day off today because I'm fucking looking. I'm looking forward. To it. Still got to go specs here as I get the glasses sorted. They're still fucking half on and half off my fucking face. Right away, I've waffled enough. Let's get down here and have a shufties at it, shall we? I would have thought this would be, once you get the lid off, sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit here, it's not COVID. Uh, it'd be, just, it'd be like, just like any other Frey Bentos pie, I would have thought. It'd have the same layout, the same pastry, because it's the same pastry, it's puff pastry, isn't it? Off the flaky pastry, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if this tin open has worked. Now that looks a little bit different. That, brothers and sisters, round there, is bean juice. You can't beat bean juice, can you? Especially if it's in a pie and other places. <laughs> right, oven's preheated to 200 degrees. It's gonna take 25 to 30 minutes or until the pastry is risen and golden brown. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll be back when that's done. 
So it's been 25 minutes exactly. And I'm gonna get it out now. Oh, ah, ah, back it's hot. There you go. I'm gonna get it, put the can before the, the pastry drops. Look, <clears throat> look at that. Now, I've all, see it dropping now. It's starting to drop. Uh, but yeah. It smells good. I love the pastry though. When I pray a sauce pie, I love the pastry. I must have got to say. So no matter what, if it if it fails for me, the pastry, will, I'll, you know what I mean. It's just full of fat in it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it five minutes just to cool down because the innards will be absolutely like molten lava, won't they? Sorry, I'm wiping down there as I was talking. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll be back and I'll be sliding it down my gizzard. Right, so I've not let it go five minutes because, quite honestly, I'm Hank Marvin. But listen, that is a proper crispy pastry. Ooh, you see that then? Look at the steam come out of that. It's definitely cooked, but the thing is, we want to find is what's inside, don't we? Want to? Loads of bean juice. Is there anything else in there other than beans? Uh, I'm guessing, right? I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm not an expert right now or not with processed meat. I think that might be a bit of sausage. Uh, <laughs> size of it. Hang on, let, let's not forget this was £1.49. So I'm not expecting miracles. It's probably what, worth £1.49 just for that crispy pastry, to be honest. That is definitely sausage. And do you know why I know it's a sausage? Because it tastes just like the sausages in the beans and sausages. You know, the tins. The mines. Not very not very good, but you know, it's it's, it's got that distinctive taste, that sausage on it. I don't think there's I don't think I think the bacon's dissolved and disappeared. Oh, there's your black pudding. Your black pudding here. You can't see it now. I've fucking caked it in bean juice to try and fucking get it out. I dumped it. Fuck me up, hot. Definitely black pudding. Can't beat that, but that's that's definitely black pudding. Definitely beans. And it's definitely the sausages you get in like the tins and stuff. The beans and sausages and what have you. It's a bit hard to fucking eat, to be honest. It's fucking red hot. I love that soggy pastry underneath as well. Let's get a big, get a big thoughtful so I can go for proper third degree burns in, inside of me frigging gob. I've got some beans, I've got some sausage, I've got some black pudding and I've got some juice on the floor. Blow it, it's burning. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Ah. Now, I've not watched anyone else's review on this because I didn't want it to make it impartial for me. I want to I want my own my own opinion of it. I have heard people say, not heard, text that it's not very good. And I agree it's not brilliant. But for £1.49, <coughs> losing my voice again, you can't fault it. £1.49 for a free bentos pie. It's a tea, innit? It? It'll make a turd. And uh, said it A and E, it's that fucking up. Yeah. That is definitely my dinner. Mm. Yeah, I'm giving that a thumbs up. Like I said, brothers and sisters, you can't fault that. I, I the, the pastry for me is the best bit. The sausages in it are the ones out of the like the ones out of the baked beans and sausages, like you get from Bachelors and fucking Heinz and stuff. So the taste of the sausage is not really not very good. Uh, the black pudding tastes like black pudding. Ain't wrong with that. And the beans taste like beans. Uh, in, inspection in that, I've never found any bacon, but it did say it was only 5%, uh, I think that 5% of bacon just melted away in the oven. 
Anyway, I like that. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you. Right, piss off. I'm having my dinner.